Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and it is time for our monthly build series where we build out a mining rig using the current pricing and the current situation of events because, as you know, hardware is super hard to get right now, especially uh, with bots and scalpers out there raising the prices due to high demand and low supply. But I do want to go through a few details here because I missed out on some or some of them some people were confused with last night's video where we did 8 3060 TIs uh, kind of looped in everything into the overall price but let's just go ahead and jump right in and go from there I do value your opinion uh, I do accept constructive criticism so feel free to leave some in the comments but I also want you to share your thoughts with the community down below Right now on the screen, uh, we got my builds list uh, where we went and just grabbed a generic CPU. Now, I did notice that the dual core and even the low end CPUs are really getting high in price. But when, when it comes to mining rigs, since we're not CPU mining and focusing on GPU mining, uh, we want to get a good budget CPU. Typically, they would be around 30, 40 bucks, but the prices have increased even on the CPUs as well. So, we got the Intel Pentium Gold G5400T. Uh, which is a dual core processor, uh, socket LGA 1151, and it's 78 bucks now, which is, is quite ridiculous. However, what you can do is build out a parts list here in parts, uh, you know, PCPartPicker.com, and then swing on over to a secondhand market like eBay and try to find it for a little bit cheaper. Uh, good luck with that. But technically, we could try and find a cheaper CPU elsewhere. I generally like to buy from official sources. eBay's kind of turned me off with the whole GPU market and everything. So we do have that in there in our build. So 78 bucks right there. Now this is just a tray CPU, so it doesn't come with a cooler. So I just got a stock generic Intel CPU cooler for under 10 bucks. And then the motherboard that I chose here is the MSI H310. Now, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, we don't necessarily need to get a mining specific motherboard. Uh, especially since the prices for them, like the Asus uh, B250, not only is the price uh, super high now, but we're not going to run 19 GPUs. We're going to be focusing on just running 8 GPUs safely, effectively, and reliably. Um, so we don't need all 19 PCIe slots. Now we could go with the ASRock H110 uh, Pro BTC board, but also that has more than what we need. I do believe that has like 13 PCIe slots. We don't need that. So we're going to try to make it work with just this MSI motherboard where we have three PCIe slots, so two one by and one sixteen, which we can use again, as I mentioned in my last video, a splitter to make all of that work. We got the G Skill Aegis uh, two by four gig kit, uh, around forty bucks. Whether we get from Newegg, um, of course, when we swap over to Amazon, it's seventy two, so it's a little bit more than uh, what I would like. Then we got the ADATA SU635, still at a good price. So SSD pricing has dropped. Uh, I believe um, there's a couple of things in the, the RAM market or NVRAM that has actually pushed the price even lower. So for under 30 bucks, we can get a good 240 gigabyte hard drive. I wouldn't recommend going anywhere lower than 120 because once you, especially in Windows, once you start adding on, uh, you know, uh, you're increasing your page file size, you're going to need more space. Now, if you're just using this SSD and you're going to install HiveOS on it, then maybe the 120 gig will be just fine. Uh, but if you're going to be using Windows, I would suggest getting at least 240 or above in size or capacity. Now, the GPUs will get to last, but the power supply, I chose the Rosewill uh, 1000 watt power supply. I believe it's called the Glacier. I believe that's the actual model number. Yeah, Glacier 1000M. And it's a pretty decent power supply. Uh, obviously got the 80 plus rating. Nothing too substantial. But the reason I got this is because the next lowest one was like a 650 or 750 watt power supply. And they were around the same price. So I don't know how long this is going to last, but the new egg. Uh, marketplace has it for 90 bucks right now for a thousand watt power supply so that's not a bad deal now I will tell you that I can't verify the quality of this PSU uh, I, I'm willing to bet it's a B rated power supply so it's not the best but it will get the job done so all in all what I have right now in this parts list if I bust out the calculator 
uh, we're, we're, we're pretty high in price. What's happening is, is that everything, including the GPUs, especially the GPUs, have gone up dramatically in price. So we got the Sapphire Pulse here. Uh, matter of fact, um, the Sapphire Pulse is, is one of the better cards available on retail marketplaces. And I really like this card uh, with the dual BIOS switch and everything so you can uh, mem mod it. Uh, it's got great cooling with the nickel plated uh, heat pipes and, and uh, cold plate so it's a really good GPU but the pricing is just ridiculous so what I in the parts list we have the pricing set at the lowest that we can find which is 858 because it's out of stock everywhere else so 858.99 and that is from a third party reseller that's not from Amazon itself but be careful because even though there's a bunch of third party resellers selling these GPUs for super high price um, I want you to know that even some of the official sources, especially since we had the exemption, uh, the tariff exemption expiration recently passed, even Newegg and, and direct from our manufacturers, MSI, uh, Zotac, so on and so forth, the GPU prices have, has increased across the board. And honestly, there are some of them that are taking advantage of this you know, high demand uh, low supply situation and just increasing the pricing. So, anyways, going back to my parts list with eight RX 5700 XT Sapphire Pulse at eight about 860 bucks, our total comes out to 6,880. Now, I want to see something real quick to find out if that's profitable, right? So, we got a total number down here if we to buy all the parts in this parts list right now. And if we just copy that, now this doesn't have every single thing because we need to include, right, we need two adapters. This one's out of stock. I'm sure we can find one uh, elsewhere like maybe this one. Um, we need some risers so because we, we have eight GPUs, we're going to need two packs of, of, of six uh, because I don't think they sell them by, eight, you know, the number of eight. So we get two of these. So that's going to be a, around 100 bucks right there. And I really like these uh, deep into mines for eight AUG PCIe 6 to 8 pin splitters but there's other splitters out there available uh, but we're definitely going to need splitters to power all eight GPUs probably need two of these so that's going to be around 40 bucks right there and then we need some fans and then we need a, uh, a rig I, ha I haven't chose a frame uh, but we can safely say the frame is going to be around 50 bucks. So if we add all of that in right now, right? So I'm pricing this all in for us right now at the current MSRP of GPUs and hardware. So we're going to say uh, 60 bucks for fans, uh, 40 bucks for splitters. Uh, we're going to say 30 bucks for this uh, adapter. So we need to do that times two because we need two of those uh, plus another 30. And then risers, we need a two pack of that, so that's going to be another 100. Plus a frame. Let's go ahead and look up a uh, GPU mining frame. We need eight. A GPU mining frame. And that's actually not a bad frame right there. Very basic. You can build your own, and I want you to take that into account. You can build your own frame. Uh, there's guides online on how to do that. This is a pretty cool looking frame. But we're just looking for the cheapest general price. So we're going to say, uh, based on all the information that we're seeing here, six, six, uh, this is all six. We're going to say the eight GPU frame. We're just going to go ahead and put the price at around 80 bucks. Uh, I wouldn't pay that much for a frame. If, it, if I were, I would, I would just buy it myself. But we're just going to go ahead and say um, 80 bucks. So right now, with everything included, right, all the hardware we need, frame, fans, splitters, everything, we're gonna. It's 75.23 right now to build a eight GPU uh, mining rig with the RX 5700 XT, which is quite ridiculous. Now, if we look at what to mine, which all calculators or mining calculators are based on, you know, an estimate, right? It's a roundabout ballpark it's not the actual true this sapphire pulse we can get close to 58 mega hash so that's at least an extra three mega hash per card right so uh we can technically add that in at the end but let's just do eight of these uh so 440 mega hash so we can say like you know 454 
something like that uh, as, as a total mega hash. And let's see what our break even would be. Now, right now, with the current setting, let's go ahead and say, yeah, 454. Let's do 455. Let's just ballpark it here. Uh, power draw. They have a 1040, but I want to check something here. So I got the total cost of the hardware in here as well. We're going to do 1% pool fees. And then power draw. I can safely say that I can get my GPUs down to close to 120. So 120 times uh, pretty much 8. I don't know why pretty much. Let's just say 1,000. Well, that's 960 plus power supply, all that, all that good stuff. So it would actually be a little bit more than 10 to 40 because we're accounting for all the system, you know, system memory, CPU, all that stuff. So it would safely be around, you know, 1100 watts I want to say so 960 plus 100 for the motherboard and everything plus peripherals uh, so that's 1060 1100 yeah so around 1100 watts and everything so if we calculate that right there at what we have with the current block reward uh, and we can change that block reward to what it's going to be in the future here in just a second but our break even well that's not right why is it saying that is that is that really what it thinks? Oh, I didn't take into the account the hardware cost. Why is it doing that? Oh, okay. It's the comma that's messing us all up. 7523. Alright, now it's stuck. So our break even is actually not that bad. It's 124 days. So less than half a year to break even and earn the money that we spent back and then the rest of that's profit and that would basically be around at 10 cent per kilowatt hour sixty dollars uh, a day uh, you know minus three dollars um, about three dollars in electricity that is not too bad with an all rx 5700 xt even at the current market price of the sapphire pulse now there's other websites that where you can buy it uh, don't look at all the pricing because they don't match the gpu right so 849 on ebay um, matter of fact let's go ahead and look up some others real quick and yeah it's just ridiculous now this might be a good option right here if you can catch this in time this is three days left on this bid 550 um, if you can catch that in time and get a low bid closer to MSRP go for it same thing with this one right here but that's a lot of work and I understand why we would do this um, it's it's a lot of work that you're gonna have to put in to try to catch these bids just right and buy it because to pay nine hundred, eight hundred, a thousand dollars for an RX fifty seven hundred XT and and matter of fact when it when RX fifty seven hundred XT release date like you you shouldn't even be paying uh, three hundred four hundred dollars for an RX five eighty that's that card is old it's still great but you shouldn't be paying that much. So the 5700 came out July uh, 7, 2019. It's going to be a two-year card here shortly, and it's basically the same price as new GPUs, the 6000 series or even the NVIDIA 3000 series. Don't pay for that. You need to hunt. You need to take the time and hunt. Now, matter of fact, I got a Craigslist ad right here, and, and, and be careful. Don't be showing up, you know, walking down an alley to a guy in a trench coat being like, hey, you want this kid? Don't, don't get dicey on me. But... This is actually not a bad deal. So he's selling uh, four RX 5600 XTs, one XFX 5700 XT, and then one ASRock Challenger Pro, not my Challenger, the one that I had to fix and make actually work right, uh, RX 5700 XT. So that's six GPUs, right? And so if we can get both of those to around 58 mega hash, you know, and mem mod all three, you know, every single card that we have. So 43 times four, equals plus um, let's say 58 plus 58 so about 288 285 is about where he's at 285 mega hash and for thirty six hundred dollars if we went to buy this right now uh, it would it wouldn't be too bad of a buy it would not it would actually be a pretty good deal just be careful you you, you have to challenge yourself and go look at these secondhand markets but just be careful. You want to ask the hard questions, whether you're buying from somebody on eBay or you're buying locally off of Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. You know, hey, how long have you been using the GPUs? Have you ever cleaned it? Did you maintain it? Uh, you know, you, you really want to know how long they've been running these GPUs 24-7. 
Uh, I know gamers want to know that because they're concerned that miners are just killing these cards when really the miners are undervolting and underutilizing the GPUs as compared to gaming all the time. But that's neither here or there. Just be careful when trying to buy these GPUs and make sure to ask the hard questions. So right now, just to recap, if we were to build in the month of February with the parts list that I have here, which I'll put in a link in the description below, uh, 8 RX 5700 XTs at the price of 850 or basically 860 a card at that current price, all the parts that I've mentioned, including the adapters that we need to make this particular motherboard, right, which is not a mining motherboard, to make this particular motherboard work uh, and support 8 cards, CPU, CPU cooler, everything you would need, including a frame that costs around 80 bucks. You might have to do a little bit more digging because most of them that are below 80 bucks are six GPU frames, but you can even build one yourself for less, way less than 80 bucks. But with everything we need, and I know I'm repeating myself like a broken record here, I do apologize, but I have to do it sometimes. We would have a decent rig still with current profitability of the uh, current market, right? we would still break even in less than a year and make an average of $60 a day at current market value. And the reason that is is because Ethereum's on this nice little tear. I'm not sure why Coin360 is giving me a hard time. There it goes. But look at that. Ethereum's over, uh, we broke past 1600 the other day and now we're past 1700 You may be watching this later on in the future and the, the pricing may not match what you're seeing right now. I do apologize, but you just want to take that into account um, as you move forward in purchasing your hardware, uh, especially when you're concerned about the longevity. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, everything in the parts list will be linked down below. Um, the PC Part Pickers list will also be linked. And let me know in the comments what you're doing, what's your rig, what's your hardware, what's your specs, and communicate with each other. If somebody has a question and I'm unable to get to it, Feel free to share, but uh, you know, try to let's, let's try to be factual. Use facts to back up our information. Let's just not spot nonsense and be careful of spans, spam, scam, or comments below that do not represent any of the top crypto YouTubers, including myself, which I am not a top crypto YouTuber. Uh, trying to get you to invest or hang out with hacker this or hacker that, and just be very careful, especially today. Cryptocurrency is on the rise. People are interested. Scams are picking up. People trying to take advantage of it, including manufacturers in the market trying to take advantage of the low supply, high demand. All right, guys, you take care. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.